Welcome to Geeky Beardy Dad, I'm Sam Drayson Letissier and in this video we're going to be unboxing the award-winning Wingspan. Now this is one of my absolute all-time favourite games but for some reason or another I've not actually owned a copy of this yet. But for my birthday I received this copy of Wingspan. Um, this is a phenomenal game and I'm really excited to open it up for you and show you what's inside the base game. Now, this is a game designed by Elizabeth Hargreaves and published by Stonemaier Games. Uh, they've published a whole load of games, uh, but this I think is one of my favorite of theirs. Not only because of the amazing artwork, but the gameplay is just so relaxing and enjoyable. Let's get into it. All right, there we go, we've got the, uh, the wrapper off. This is just a beautiful game. I mean, it feels premium, it feels great, the matte, um, matte print on the front there with uh, the wing wagtail, I believe it is, uh, on the front and on each of the sides. You can also see you've got more birds. So whichever way you decide to store it, um, you will have a lovely, lovely bird um, to show for it. As you can see on the side there, that is uh, one to five players, ages 14 plus, 40 to 70 minutes playtime. Obviously, it will take you longer when you're first learning. Um, but that is a cracking game. It does also include a solo mode, which I haven't tried. Um, I tend to play with friends rather than solo. Uh, let's open the box up and see what's what. Okay, we've got a... Uh, what looks like some kind of advert for an app, I think. Augmented reality app. Interesting. And you get a discount for Wingspan Digital Edition. It's such a good game to play on the go. Um, that is that there, lovely. Right. We go rule book. The rule book, even the rule book. I mean, look at the look at these drawings in here. Look at the artwork. It's just something else. There's phenomenal level of quality, even in the rule book. This full full color print rule book, uh, and it's pretty simple. I mean, it's a thin little rule book. There's not much to it. Um, but it actually tells you everything you need to know um, to play the game. And there's also an appendix if you want to look up pesky card names uh, and what exactly they do and birds uh, and everything else. That's a, a great way to, to reference certain bits of info that you wouldn't want to sort of delve into when you're just learning the game. Okay, and the Automa, which is Donemeyer's way of naming a solo version of the game, which most of the games have, which is great. All right, here we go. So we've got all the eggs. These are brilliant. Look at that. Let's get into these. Go a handful of eggs. I'm not sure what they're actually made. They, they're, they're some kind of plastic, um, but they are a lovely textured plastic. Um, you can see that there. Um, and they come in these nice pastel colors. It, the, the color doesn't really make a difference. It's just It's just nice to have. Um, and when you're playing the game, uh, you can uh, you can play lay eggs on your different birds to get points at the end of the game. Go our uh, dice and player cubes. Now I've seen lots of people using 3D printers to replace the cubes with little bird houses um, and all sorts of fun fun bits and pieces. So I might have to start pimping up my my version. But for now, I've got my little wooden cubes for each of the four, five players there. And the food dice. So when you, um, when you roll to get food, when you use food, the food action, you roll these. As you can see, these are wooden, really nice quality. Um, and they are really fun to play with because they give a satisfying clunk in the bird feeder. There you go. All right, what have we got next? Oh, spare bags, very kind. Thank you, Stonemaier. We have storage tubs. Again, a, a feature in Stonemaier games, a actual storage solution for when you have taken them out of their bags and you want to have them on the table. This is a great way to actually um, separate your foods and your eggs on the table. Okay, what else we got here? We got our cards. Okay, so 
I'll break a couple of these open in a minute. Um, but I mean, just straight off the bat, you can see the, the artwork of the different birds there. Really nice. Uh, so bird cards. Yeah, more bird cards. Uh, and then we've got here, um, we've got gold cards um, for the end of the game. So you can actually uh, get extra points um, by doing certain things. So for example, this one, Enclosure Builder, you need birds with a certain nest type. Uh, with the sort of ground, I think that's the ground laying egg type. Um, and um, if you get four to five birds in your on your board that have that feature, you get four points. If you get six plus, you get seven points. Um, and the star, as you get into playing, you'll realize that the star does also count as one of those nest types. There we go. Lovely. Okay, this is really nice. So this is the um, storage solution for the cards but also the display um, spot for the cards that are in play that you can choose from when you're buying birds or laying birds. I guess you would, would you lay a bird? You'd lay an egg? You'd choose a bird to add to your list. <laughs> um, and this will actually store the cards uh, while you're not using them. But then when you're actually in play, you can have them on top, which works nicely. Okay, there we go. And we've got some um, some scorecards. If you're if you're a fan of writing things down on paper, you've got your scorecards. Uh, I personally use board game stats. I really like the way it tracks um, your various wins and losses and your numbers and everything else and does all the all the fun maths for you. Um, but that's a really great way to, to be able to record what you've what you've done, how you've played. Go. That's the uh, end of round card. There's two options for it. You've got the uh, the green side, which is slightly less head-to-head, -head, less competitive, and gives everyone a chance to get points. Uh, the blue side, um, which is not recommended for first-time players, but is another good option. And that has a really nice textured feel, actually. I haven't noticed that before. It's kind of rough. It's almost sandpapery. Very nice. Okay. Here we go. What have we got here? Is this uh, an update of some kind? Not sure what this is. A revision, maybe? Ah, has this got fir is this first flight? Well, they added a couple of bits. Um, so there's some quick start boards just to give you really easy in with the rules you can see there. Um, it just gets you playing quicker uh, and is a great, great way to to get going without having to explain everything completely all the way to the bottom. That's brilliant. So each player can have one of those. And then these revisions, I will have to look up if these are revisions, but I have a feeling that these are either revised cards or promo cards. But I will have a look. Yeah, they've got, look at the artwork on those. Look at that, just something else, Broadwinged Hawk. American Red Start. Yeah. I'm not sure if these are... I feel like these are extra. I haven't... Oh, there's a white-throated Swift. That might be a, a new one. Okay. All right, brilliant. I will check those out in due course. More bags. Always useful. Big old bag there. And here we go. These are the player boards. So, if I can get that. These are the player boards. So... Uh, what you do is you have um, you have your you have your various habitats, so woodland, grassland, and wetlands. Uh, and when you lay your eggs, uh, your birds, sorry, when you place your birds here, um, you actually place them in their the environment that they live in. Some of them will will take up multiple, be able to go in multiple different areas. Others can only live in certain habitats. Um, and as you fill up each row you get more uh, rewards for doing that particular action. So each row is an action. Now, the way you get points in this game is not only by birds. So birds have points on them. It's also eggs on birds. Um, and then you also get bon you get stuff, points from your bonuses. You get points from food. There's a couple of different ways to get, to get, um, to get points in this game. But that's really nice quality, as you can see there. Very colourful. 
So there are a couple of expansions for Wingspan, um, one being the Oceania expansion and one being the European expansion, which simply had more birds, um, some more ways of getting points, so mid round, uh, between round um, point, car point birds, um, new actions, and then in the, um, in the latest expansion you actually get a new food type as well, so they add a couple more um, ways of doing things. Right, this is the bird feeder. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna build this and then we can see what it looks like. It's even got instructions on the punch board there. Isn't that cool? Alright, here we go. Let's get this built. The great thing with this is once it's built, that's it. <laughs> because doing this every time would be such a drag on setup. Um, but once it's built, it's built. Even the attention to detail on the instructions. I mean, you see there they've got um, sort of note n notes telling you which part goes where. It's just it's really really thought out and and it's a great way to to help you do it right. And again, I've seen people who've replaced these with sort of 3D printed versions, which I can see why um, when you've been playing it for a while, it's getting a bit dog-eared, but that is so cool. Look at the print quality on there. It's all, all mossy and looks really nice. And when you crack it away, you just pick it the end up and pop it in, in there like that. Uh, and that can actually go in the box like that, fold it up. Really nice, really nice. There we go. Very cool. All right. On to some popping, which you'll know by now is one of my favorite parts. Let's get more popped out. So first player token with the, uh, the box art bird on there, which I believe is a wagtail. Correct me if I'm wrong. Nice work. That's the first player token. Then we've got all our foods. So these are all the different types of resources that you're going to be using. Birds eat certain types of food. So when you want to play a bird, you actually have to feed or discard the specific combination of foods that they eat. Um, and then you've got the, um, the end of round. So each round has a certain modifier um, to give you extra points at the end of the game. And these are various. So for example, having Num most number of birds in the grasslands is one of them and these are double-sided as well so having e most eggs in the w wetlands will give you points as well so these are various end of round um, markers One of the big reasons I enjoy this game is not only because it's a brilliant game, it's very relaxing, nice and easy to play, it's also because this is one of the games that my, my wife enjoys. And in especially in the, in the past year where we've not been able to meet up with gaming groups and it's been a lot of um, playing at home uh, where possible or playing online, which isn't as, as good by any means, I've I had to lean into games that, that my wife enjoys. So we can play together and this is one of them because it's just such a great game it's just lovely it's pretty it's well put together it's well thought out uh, and there's a lot of a lot to be said for that let's have a look at some of these cards there's the tokens i'm going to bag those up now All right, let's have a look at some of these bird cards. So let's get into these. There are a lot of cards. And, and that's a great thing because it means that even if you churn through a sort of a whole set in, the, in one game, you'll actually always find, get, find birds in following games that you haven't seen before. Uh, 
and that's where the expansions come in really handy too because you get more birds and more birds means you see less of them as often um and look, look at this so they all have the same sort of style um whilst there are diff various different artists on this they all have a different style to them and you start recognizing them i found after playing this game um for a while and a, a good few times i started finding i would be able to actually recognize birds um based on their markings simply because of this game so you could say it's an educational game <laughs> learning about the birds that you might see around you there we go yeah everything from turkeys to eagles Got to say, there are a lot of ducks in this game, um, and that is that is intentional because there are a lot of ducks in the real world. I've used this game plenty of times to um, get people who aren't necessarily into games to try a game, to try a new game. And, and it's so not threatening, so non-threatening in that, in that respect that you can quite easily introduce someone who likes game like a, a sort of an older parent or a, a friend who might not be into kind of war games and, and that kind of stuff. They really get on board with a game like this where you're effectively just growing a garden, collecting birds and, and getting points at the end of it and... and Getting to look at this great artwork. Um, yeah, look at that. A throated flycatcher. Puffin, very nice. Barn owl, they're great, aren't they? You've got your wingspan there. You've got what it does when you activate that row. Even more information about where they live and what they do. Uh, and here in the top left, you've got the, um, the habitats they can live in and also what it costs, what food they have, so what it costs to, to place them. Common loon. Okay, and here we have, I believe, gold cards and reference cards. But let's crack them open. And I'm guessing solo cards as well. I haven't seen those separately. Yep, so there's your gold cards, everything from birds that have at least one egg laid on them through to um, cards about what they eat, a whole load. And you can actually get more of these as you're playing, um, which will enable you to get more points if you manage to complete them. There we go, some reference cards. Oh, the Automa cards. Yeah, you can tell they're Automa cards because what they have on the back. That's the cog there. Pop the birds in this handy little box here. Now I do tend to sleeve my cards, so actually they don't all fit in here once you've sleeved them, but that depends on how thin the cards are that you use, I guess. But for now they should all fit nicely. Separate those up a little bit. And I'll put, I will put these guys in under under them so I can double check what they are and what they replace, if they replace or if they're just extra ones. Um, but there you go. That is pretty much everything you need to know about Wingspan and what's in the box. Definitely try and get yourself a copy of this game. It's, it's brilliant. It is just brilliant. I can't stress enough how enjoyable it is as a game. Um, just the quality of the components the amount of thought that's gone into the birds like the actions that they take the way that they work each bird works is so indicative of where it comes from that you you feel like you're getting to know the birds too and what they do now this if you can see that that 
is genius. They've actually provided a how to pack the box um, part just on the end of the box there, the edge of the box there. If you can see that. There you go. So it actually tells you what goes where. It's brilliant. That's genius because so often you get to the point where you're trying to um, trying to actually pack a box and you have no idea what goes in where. Well, let's pop everything in then now that we know where it goes. And there we go, that is what's in the box. Do try and get a hold of a copy of this. It's phenomenal. Everyone needs to play this game. After everyone needs to play this game. Get a copy if you can. Beg, steal or borrow a copy. Um, I hope you've enjoyed my unboxing of it. And as I get the expansions, I'll show those off too. Um, but for now, that's all from me. See you on the next one. <laughs>